so the best uh, the very first thing which we need to very clear on what software is we require to really work on the java programming language the very primary prerequisite is to have the jdk that's called java development kit so now let's walk through the how to install the jdk software then we look into the you know basic concepts after that so these slides might be having the old pointers but let me go and show you how to download the latest jdk so go to your browser look for the jdk download and it automatically pointing to the you know Oracle software from where you can download the latest version of the JDK. Click on this, and you need to accept the license before you are going to download the JDK. And here you can see there are different options are available. Depends on what operating system you are using, you should choose the right file to download it. If you are having the Linux, you can download the Linux compatible JDK. If you are having the Mac, you can download the Mac compatible. Whoever having the Windows, you can download the Windows compatible JDK. So here in the Windows, you can find two different packages. One is x86 and other one is x64. So basically this is for the 64-bit compatible operating system. And this is for 32-bit compatible operating system. And you need to check your, you know, machine whether it's 32-bit or 64-bit, and you can download the appropriate one. So even 32-bit will works fine on 64-bit computers as well. But whoever having the Windows, whoever having the Windows 8, please download the 32-bit one that is x86 installer because. Uh, in, on Windows 8, whatever the browsers comes, the Mozilla or Chrome, they don't support the 64-bit JVM. So that's why, as a good practice, we can download the 32-bit version. So that works pretty much fine in your browsers also. Because, you know, when you're trying to accessing some sites, if they are using the applets, so that requires to run JVM. So in that case, you'll be getting into a trouble if you are if you don't have you know browser compatible JVM in your machine so please download this Windows 8 Windows x86 if you are having the Windows 8 operating system so in my case I already downloaded it I can simply go to my you know my download folder and I can pretty much uh, could you please keep you on the mute hello calling user 6 okay so let me install this you know the the one which is suitable for my operating system that is Windows 8 let's proceed with yes so you can yes please Windows 7 you can install both depends on your computer whether it is 32 bit or 64 bit you can install whichever is compatible for you both works 32 bit yes okay so just download it and you know once you download pretty much you'll be getting as a zip and unzip that you'll get the exe file double click on that and you know so it start the installation process and it will ask you the placeholder where should I install the JDK and this is the place by default it comes if you want you can click on the change and you can change the location where you want to install so let me go with the default one So it will take you know few seconds to complete it. It doesn't take much time. So in the meanwhile, so once you complete the installation of you know the first step is you have to install the JDK. The second step is like you need to set it up, set up the configuration of JDK environment. So as soon as it completes the JDK installation, it will continue asking the JRE. So just continue with that. Click on the next.
so once you install the JDK you need to set up the JDK environment then then only you can say my Java setup has been successfully done okay so in the meanwhile let me take you to the place where my Java got installed so whatever location it was shown you at the time of installation please go there and you can see both JDK and JRE got installed in this location And here you can see my Java got successfully installed and this is the Java JDK version 7 update 10 and I'm just clicking on the close button and this is the location where it got installed if you go and look into that so this is the folder structure how exactly it looks like and the bin folder contains all the executable files so which will help you to you know uh, uh, compile your program running your program and some other utilities which will helpful for you during the you know your application development so now let's look into how I can set up the environment for my you know uh, my computer so basically part of the environment you need to set up the two environment variables so one is Java home and other one is path environment variable and the same thing so whoever having the you know so XP or Vista or Windows 7 so here there are some of the screenshots the screenshots might be different but still you can follow them and you can able to you know with this you can able to set up the environment variable in your operating system so on Windows 8 uh, it looks a little different to get these environment variables so just move your cursor on top Yeah, here you'll be getting when you move the cursor on top right corner you'll be getting this section and click on the settings and you'll be getting the option PC info when you click on that you can find this advanced system settings click on that and you can find the environment variables here just select it and you can provide your environment variable either in this section or in the system variable section both are fine both are fine as long as you are you know mm. so when you are providing as a user variables so the whatever settings you does so that's only applicable for you not for everyone who logged into your computer so it's good practice you can provide you can do your settings in the system variables area and I already made the settings with my previous installation so I don't have to do it again but still if you want let me delete it and click on the new button and you need to copy the location where you install the Java and this is the location where my Java software is available copy the location go here and variable name strictly should be Java underscore home and let us in the uppercase and paste the value here save ok and apart from that you need to specify one more environment variable called path and path which already exists in your settings you don't have to create the new you can click on the edit and go to at the end of the path environment variable and just you know put the semicolon and give something like java home inside percentiles backslash bin and click on the OK button so this everything was already captured in my slides you can pretty much take a look of this and it will help you so once you set up the path environment variable so the basic thing which you need to understand is why I why I'm doing these settings so the Java home is going to tell your operating system where my JDK got installed in this computer because your computer might be having many drives right your OS supposed to know where is your Java software and the path environment variable tell to the operating system hey OS this is the location where Java related utilities and commands are located so when somebody is going to run the Java command go and execute the commands from this location that is the purpose of giving the path variable to the you know uh, part of the OS settings so how do I know my voice got success I mean my JDK got successfully installed and it is working fine so it is very simple open your command line prompt okay 
and here you can execute a command java hyphen version and here it's showing you the so this is the version got installed in your computer when you're saying this means you're pretty much done your java software is installed successfully and environment also configured properly you're good to use your java software and you can write the programs you can compile it and you can run them and apart from that you can also run few other commands like java c that's called java compiler when you're seeing these commands means even the compiler i mean jdk also got installed properly so you are good to do you are good to go so we can pretty much go and write our java programs and we can execute them in our computers